Hi, my name is Sarah. I'll be your trainer today. I'm from Babes on the Run. We're going to go through a 30 minute exercise routine um, designed to help you to build muscle, burn fat, burn calories, which is the most important thing, and get fit. So um, first of all, I'd like to start by letting you know that we need to get clearance from your doctor first, um, just to make sure that you're okay to exercise. If you get any pain or aches during the routine that don't feel normal, that aren't just muscle pain, make sure that you stop and get clearance from your doctor first. Um, I'm gonna go through the equipment that we'll be using today. So we're using a step. Um, we're also using a bench, which can be substituted with a chair or anything like that at home, as long as it's sturdy and safe for you to use. We're also using a set of dumbbells and we're using a fit ball. Turn on hydration, making sure that it's, uh, you're getting enough water during the day and it's really important to add more in when you're exercising. So take an exercise bottle with you when you're doing your workout, whether you're doing it in your house or out in the backyard, and make sure you finish that bottle while you're doing your exercise and listen to your body if you're thirsty, have more. Um, I'll start with a warm up. So the warm up will go for roughly uh, one to two minutes for, for the video. So we'll start doing step ups. So just up and down, making sure that you're planting your feet nice and evenly on the step. And we're coming all the way onto the step. We don't want our feet hanging over the edges. And we'll stay on one side the whole time, or well, half time, sorry, and then we'll swap over. Okay, so just making sure that you keep the knees nice and soft when you're doing the step up. You don't want to lock out at the top. Okay, shoulders down and back as well. Posture is really important when you're exercising. Okay, and this could be done if you've got stairs at home or um, anything sturdy that you can do a step up onto. But steps are quite inexpensive as well to purchase at your local fitness store. So we'll just keep stepping up to keep nice and warm. You're feeling that heart rate going up slightly. Always making sure that foot's coming right onto the step. Always concentrating on the posture as well. And we want to activate the core muscles. And that's really important during every exercise that we do. Almost getting to halfway and then we'll change feet. Okay, and we're coming down and we'll tap to change. Okay, once again, making sure that leading foot's coming all the way onto the step. Not locking those knees out. Feel my heart rate going up a bit, so you should definitely be feeling yours by now. Feeling warmer. And it's really important to be warm when you're exercising. Always concentrating on the posture. Shoulders down and back. All right, and we'll stop there. Warm up is done. So I'm just gonna move the step out of the way for now. Okay, and we're coming into our first exercise, which is lunges. Now it's really important when you're exercising to start with the bigger muscle groups first. They um, are stronger. The smaller muscles will fatigue quicker. So we wanna exercise the big ones first so they can take the load. So, a lunge. We wanna make sure that your feet are about hip width apart, bringing one foot behind you, one in front, and then we're gonna come down and we want our legs to be at 90 degree angles. And what you wanna do is squeeze your bum and then bring your legs back up. We don't wanna lock the knees out like that, we just wanna keep them nice and soft. Okay, so we'll go down and up, nice and slow and controlled, making sure that the weight stays even on the front foot 
We don't want the foot going from side to side. Okay, and we're gonna do 12 of these. Good. Okay, we've got three more on this side. And two. And one. Okay, and then just changing feet. Okay, so making sure you're planting that foot. Looking back to make sure that your feet are hip width apart again. And then we're coming down, 90 degree angles, squeezing your bum and bringing it back up. Once again, not locking out that front knee or the back knee. Okay, I'm gonna do 12 on this side as well. And breathe in as you go down, out as you come up. You're always breathing out on the hard part of the exercise. Okay, we've got three more on this side. And two. And one. Okay, I'm gonna grab the fit ball now. We're going to do hamstring counts. So what you wanna do is come down into sitting on the mat and then laying down and then putting the backs of the heels of your feet on the fit ball. And then we wanna place our arms straight on the ground if your core is nice and strong, you can have them out to the side. Otherwise, we'll just have them down by your side to give you a bit more support. Then we lift the hips up off the ground and roll the ball in, turning our feet so the soles of our feet come into contact with the ball. Then squeeze your bum and bring it back out. Good, so in, squeeze and out. Okay, so we're gonna do another 10 of those. Making sure that core's activated. Making sure that neck's nice and neutral as well. Your head's resting on the ground. Okay, breathing in as you bring the ball back towards you, out as you take it out. Okay, we'll do three more. I was really thinking about squeezing the butt. And two. And one. Okay, just releasing the ball, coming up back into sitting. Move the ball out the way for now. Okay, now we're coming to the cardio component of the exercise. So basically, actually sorry, we're not doing step ups, we're doing Spider-Mans. Okay, Spider-Mans are coming down onto the floor. Okay, keeping a nice straight back. So we're gonna do 20 of these. Okay, bringing that foot right to the outside of the hand. Keeping a nice straight back. Keeping that neck nice and neutral as well. So it's probably best if you're just looking down to the ground while you do this. Okay, this will definitely get your heart rate up. Okay, we'll do four more. Good, and stop. Okay, slowly coming up. Take a breather and we're gonna start again. So I've included uh, the cardio exercise so that your muscles get a break. I think it's really important when you're doing a bit of weight training to have that, that break time, a bit of active rest with your cardio. So we'll go back to lunges. So once again, feet hip width apart, shoulders down and back, abs on. And coming down and up. Okay, we're going to do 12 again. Squeezing your bum. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. We'll do two more on this side. Last one. Okay, bring your feet together. Changing. Okay, making sure they're hip width apart, down and up. It's really important with your posture. Sticking your chest out, shoulders down and back. Keep those abs on. Got 
four to go. Breathing in as you go down, out on the way up. Last two. And one. All right. Grabbing the fit ball again. Okay. You're gonna do hamstring curls. Okay. So once again, either having your hands out to the side or down by your side. Lifting up with the hips, rolling the ball so that the soles of your feet touch it. And we want to squeeze your butt cheeks together when your legs are straight and that'll help you bring the ball back up. Okay, so we're going to do 12, we've got another 8 to go. Remembering those abs as well. Three more. And two. Last one. Alright, slowly coming back up. Okay, pop the ball out the way. Okay, we're going to do Spider-Mans again. So we'll do another 20. It's coming back down onto the mat. And bring that straight back. Abs on. Halfway. Two more. And last one. Good. Coming back up. Okay, so now we're going to do upper body. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of back and a little bit, bit of chest and we're going to mix it in again with some cardio to give you that active rest. I'm going to grab the dumbbells. So we want a nice straight back. We're going to do a bent over row. So we don't want ourselves to come hunching forwards. We want a nice straight back, shoulders down and back, abs on and we want to bend in the knee, coming forward so that the arms are hanging. So we're going to just do a row. We're going to do 12 of these, both arms together. So one, just like that, okay. We want to feel like we're getting a nice squeeze in between our shoulder blades. So if somebody put their hand there, which is what I do to most of my clients, you can squeeze their fingers. So just keep rowing back, we'll do four more. And three, and two. Breathing out as you bring the dumbbells back, one. Okay, and now we're gonna do some push-ups. I'll pop these out the way. Grab the step. Okay, now these push-ups are a little bit no different from normal push-ups. They're a little bit more advanced. So we're going to use the step to change the position of our arms. And you can do these on your feet or on your knees. I'll show you the feet version and I'll also show you the knee version on the next round. So the feet version, so we're coming down and we're gonna do six on this side. So breathing out as you come up, keep the abs on. Okay, and then walking the hands over. I'm gonna do another six on this side. Once again, breathing out as you come up. Nice neutral neck. Okay, just coming back onto your knees. I'm gonna put the step in front of me because we're going to do step ups for the active recovery. So a minute of step ups. We change feet halfway. So we'll just start with the right. Making sure that you're coming right onto the step. Always keeping the shoulders down and back. Making sure you're not locking the knees out. Do one more on this side. Coming down, toe tap, change it over. Feel the heart rate elevating just a bit, but just enough time to give your muscles enough recovery for the next round. I'm 
back and we're stepping up as well, keeping the knees nice and open. We don't want to bring the knees in too far, so we're coming in like that. We want to keep them open. Do three more. And two. And one. Okay, I'm going to pop the step out the way again for now. Okay, coming back into bent over row. So we'll grab those dumbbells again. Remembering if you need a drink, please stop and grab a drink to keep yourself hydrated. So I'll show you the bent over row from a different view now. So making sure that the feet are about hip width apart, slight bent in the knee again, straight back, and then rowing back again. So breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Okay, we'll do another six. Always keeping the elbows nice and close to the body. Two more. Remembering you must be able to pinch fingers with your shoulder blades. Nice and straight back. Okay, back to push-ups again. This time I'll show you on my knees. Okay, so once again, into position, making sure shoulders are down and back. We don't want them all up around our ears. Okay, so we'll just do one. We'll just do six on this side. Breathing out should come up. Okay, and swapping over. Once again, walking the hands over the step. Do another six on this side. Breathing out as you come up. And making sure the chest is right over the hands. Okay, coming up, I'll move the step back around again so we can do step ups. Okay, so once again, a minute. So 30 seconds on each leg, which is about 20 step ups each side. Making sure that you're coming all the way onto the step again, because you might be getting a bit tired by now, so really concentrate on that form. Keeping the knees nice and open. Do three more on this side, and then we're going to change over. Okay, we'll do a toe tap and change. Once again, concentrating on that form, shoulders down and back, abs on, making sure you're stepping all the way onto the step. And just keep that breath flowing nicely. You might find that you're getting a bit out of breath, that's okay, it's normal. Can we do five more? Last two. And one. Okay, and then coming off, we'll move the step out of the way for the next round. Okay, so we're coming up to our last round of exercises now. So you should be feeling a little bit fatigued, but that's okay, we'll keep soldiering on. There's only a little bit left and then we're gonna do a nice stretch. So remember to keep hydrated, remember to keep good form, it's really important as you're getting tired. So we'll start with some triceps, we're gonna do some arms. So I'll just make sure the step's out of the way, so making sure there's nothing in your way when you're doing this. Now I'm using a bench, but like I said before, you're more than welcome to use a household chair, the side of the couch, as long as it's a sturdy um, place to, to be. So coming down, now there are two variations of this exercise. You can have your knees bent, and we'll just go down and up, making sure that your elbows stay towards each other. We don't want them bowing out like this. That means your triceps are getting tired. So we want to keep them in a nice straight line if possible. And you can also do it with your legs straight. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'll do it with my knees bent today to show you. So we'll start, we'll do 12 of these. Making sure the elbows stay together. Breathing out as you come up. abs on as well. We'll do two more. 
And last one. Okay. And then you can come up to sitting on the bench to get up, just to make sure it's safe. And then we're gonna do bicep curls with the dumbbells. So we'll do 12, we'll do them together, shoulders down and back, sticking your chest out and keep those abs on, making sure your bum's tucked under slightly and your knees are relaxed. We don't want them locked out, we just want them nice and relaxed. So we'll do them just like this. So making sure when the dumbbells come down, they just skim your thighs. So that make sure you're getting the full extension of the arm. And feeling contraction at the top of the bicep muscle. So breathing out on the way up, in on the way down. Always concentrating on form. Okay, we'll do another four. And three. Two. And one. Okay, pop these out the way. And this time for our active rest, we're actually going to do an abs exercise. So I'm going to grab the fit ball for that. So just laying down. And what we want to make sure is when we do this exercise, we're always pushing down with your abs to make sure there's no gap under your back. Okay, so we open it up, pass the fit ball to your feet, sort of in between your calves, and then opening up again. And then we'll swap it over. We're gonna do 20 of these. Okay, we're halfway. This one's really important, just to keep the breath flowing. Okay, four more. And three. And two. Last one. Okay, coming up into sitting. Pop this out the way. Okay, and we're gonna go back to the start again. So starting with tricep dips. Okay, your arms have had enough time to rest now. Okay, so once again, bending the knees. Another point of this exercise is to make sure that your back is skimming along the surface or along the bench that you're using. So elbows together, in on the way down, out on the way up. Really keep those abs on as well. Do three more. And one more. Okay, coming up, grabbing the dumbbells again. Okay. So, relaxing the knees, shoulders down and back, abs on, and once again, curling up. Breathing out as you come up. Okay, we've got four to go. Four, and three, two, and one. Okay, popping those down. Pop those up here because we're not using them again today. Okay, grabbing a fit ball. Once again, 20 of these. Now, if you can't do 10, 20 when you first do these, it's okay to cut it down. Even if you can only do five or 10 at the start, that's fine. Always concentrating on pushing the abs down so there's no gap under your back. We'll do four more. Three. Two. Last one. 
coming into sitting. Okay, so you've done really well today. You've earned a stretch, so that's what we're gonna do next. So first, while we're standing up, I'll just grab one leg. We're stretching out the quads. So making sure you bring that thigh in close to the other one to get the, the right amount of stretch. Arm out for balance or holding onto a pole or any surface that's stable so that you've got balance. We want to hold each stretch for about 15 seconds. Okay, and then changing sides. So once again, a pole or couch or anything for balance. Just getting your breath back as well. Grab a drink if you need one. Okay, and then release. Coming down into sitting. Okay, I'm gonna straighten one leg out, have the other one bent to the side, sole of the foot touching that inner leg. We're just reaching the opposite hand to the foot while keeping a nice straight back. It doesn't matter where you can reach, as long as you're feeling a stretch along the back of your leg. So it's in this position that I am now, or coming to sitting? Coming into sitting, yeah. Yep. Okay, all right. Okay, so and into the movement as well? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so we've just stretched our quads, so we're just gonna come into sitting now. Okay, just straightening one leg out, having the other one bent, and having the sole of the foot touching the inner leg and then we're reaching forward with the opposite hand to foot. It doesn't matter where you get to, as long as you're getting a nice stretch. And we want our shoulders down and back. We don't want to hunch forward, always nice and straight, which is important in every exercise that you do. And just hold that stretch. Okay, and then we change sides. Once again, opposite hand to foot. I'm not very flexible, but I'm sure many of you could reach a foot wherever you can reach, so. Just holding that stretch nice straight back. Okay, then coming onto your knees. We'll just clasp our hands at the back or putting them into your lower back wherever's comfortable for you. Then we're gonna stick your chest out and get a nice stretch across the chest. So you should feel it all across here. Holding that stretch again for about 15 seconds. If you feel like you need a longer stretch, by all means go for it. You can't do enough stretching, it's very good for you. Okay, and then clasping the hands at the front, rounding that back off and get a nice stretch through the back. This is the only time it's okay to have them rounded back. <laughs> okay, and then just doing the triceps. So you're just reaching down the back. I'll show you. And then just reaching down, down the back, just like that. Grabbing your elbow and pushing it down. And you should feel a stretch right through here. And then changing sides. And this program is designed to be done roughly two to three times a week. Um, you want to make sure that you have a rest day in between any resistance training, whether you're splitting your body parts up, always making sure that the particular body part you're working, and in this case it is your whole body, gets about 24 to 48 hours rest in between exercise. So I like to say on the days off, do some cardio, go for a walk. If you've got a piece of cardio equipment at home, please use it, it's the best thing you can do. Um, and we encourage resistance training because not only does it, it build up your, your bone strength, so to help you as you get older so you don't develop osteoporosis and any other um, bone related diseases, but also resistance training helps to build lean muscle which in turn makes your body a very good and efficient calorie burning machine. The more muscle you have on your body, the more calories you burn even at rest. So it's really advantageous to build muscle. Um, once again, I said cardio on your rest days, and if you do cardio with weight training on the same day, 
do your cardio after because cardio tends to take a lot more out of your body um, than weight training. So getting your cardio in after your weight training is, is a good idea. So and about 10 to 20 minutes and, and half an hour on, on your days off when you're doing just cardio alone. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. It was lovely working with you and have a wonderful day.